Hello everyone, once again welcome back to Civil Learning Online YouTube channel and today in this video I am going to discuss about power rule of derivative. So before beginning the solution of the numerical, let's first learn what is power rule. So power rule says that suppose we are given our equation in the form d upon dx and we equation is in the form u to the power n. So power rule says that the derivative of u to the power n function will be n times u to the power n minus 1 times du upon dx. So uh, now we will discuss about some uh, numerical examples how to find the derivative of those functions. Our first question is going to be q equals to 4xq plus 5 times 2 and uh, we are uh, going to solve this numerical shortly. So, so let us apply the power rule here. So we will write solution and we will assume that u is equal to 4xq plus 5. If we assume that u equals to 4x plus 4x to the power 3 plus 5, then you can then we can find the derivative of u with respect to x. Therefore, we have du upon dx. We are doing as per the rule of finding the derivative using the power rule. So du upon dx is going to be 4 times and x q is 3 times x square and derivative of 5 will be 0 we are applying the sum rule for the derivative so we are first finding the derivative of this portion which is 4 times x q derivative is 3 times x square n times x to the power n minus 1 and plus derivative constant is 0 so we will get the derivative of derivative of du upon dx derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 12 x square now let's proceed further therefore derivative of we are actually asked to find the derivative of 4 x to the power 3 plus 5 and whole power to the 3 by 2 so we will have here derivative of 4 x q plus 5 to the power 3 by 2 upon dx which is in the form of derivative of u to the power 3 by 2 or u to the power n upon dx so we will apply the formula so n is 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 times u in terms of u we have 4 x q plus 5 to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 so let's do the rough here 3 by 2 minus 1 so we will take the lcm so 2 and 3 minus 2 1 times 2 1 times 2 is 2 1 so 2 times this 1 is here so 1 times 2 i know i hope you know the uh, fractional addition so we will have here 1 upon 2 uh, finally so we have 1 upon 2 times du upon dx we have got du upon dx equals to 12 x square so 2 6 times 12 and 6 3 times 18 so we have 18 x square times 4 x q plus 5 to the power 1 by 2 this is our final answer when we find the derivative of 4x cube plus 5 to the power 3 by 2 using the power rule. Now let's move to some other numerical examples. So I have selected a second question which, which is saying that use power rule to calculate the derivative of 2x square minus 3x plus 1 and whole to the power 3 by 4. Again we will assume that solution let u is equals to 2x square minus 3x plus 1. Now we remember the formula for the power rule is derivative of u to the power n times by dx equals to n times u to the power n minus 1 times du upon dx. So this is what we are going to apply here. So let's find du upon dx because we have assumed the, the expression which was inside the power so we have this so du upon dx equals to now find the derivative of 2x square so derivative of 2x square is 2 times 2 
times x to the power 1 n times 2 times derivative of x square is 2 times x to the power n minus 1 or n times x to the power n minus 1 n is 2 so 2 times x to the power 2 minus 1 minus 3 times derivative of x is 1 and derivative of 1 is 0 so ultimately we will have derivative of d derivative of u with respect to x is 4 x minus 3 now proceed further since we are asked to find the derivative of or we can write here therefore derivative of 2x square minus 3x plus 1 to the power 3 by 4 with respect to x which is in the form of derivative of u to the power n upon dx and we know that derivative u to the power n times dx equals to n means 3 by 4 times u is again 2x square minus 3x plus 1 to the power 3 by 4 minus 1 here power is 3 by 4 so if we do the rough so 3 by 4 minus 1 nothing means 1 lcm is 4 3 minus 4 by 4 means minus 1 upon 4 so its power is minus 1 upon 4 undoing derivative now we have du upon dx times du upon dx is 4 x minus 3 so here we have got the solution that is 3 by 4 times 4 x minus 3 times 2 x square minus 3 x plus 1 to the power minus 1 by 4 this is the power rule for the derivative now guys let's solve one more example based upon the power rule which is going to be different from what we have been doing till now in the previous these two numericals so the question is different so was till the do was the video till end so here we have to we are asked to find the derivative of x square minus root under a square plus x square using the power rule so how we are going to do that see here solution whenever we see any kind any numerical which have something like which has uh, one and numerator and some fraction or under root uh, expressions some expression having under root in the denominator then what we have to do is we have to rationalize that equation in order to apply any kind of derivative operation on that function so what we will do here we have to rationalize this i hope you are have the knowledge of unrationalization if not that i will be explaining in this video too so we have how we do rationalize whenever we see any denominator which has root we will multiply the numerator and denominator both with opposite sign see here is negative sign so we will rationalize this using the positive sign so we will write x plus root under a square plus x square we will consider for the consider the sign which is away from the like away from the expression okay which is outside the square root simply so uh, this is minus so we will multiply this with the plus again we will divide uh, we will keep the numerator the same what we have provided in a denominator so again x plus x plus root under a square plus x square now we will solve this uh, equation so uh, uh, we will multiply both sides numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator so on doing so a numerator we will have x plus root under a square plus x square and in denominator we will have here uh, a minus b times a plus b we have a minus b times a plus b formula form so it will be a minus b times a plus b is a square minus b square means we will have here x square minus root under a square plus x square whole square this is a b a minus b a plus b so a minus b times a plus b will be a square minus b square so a square minus b square and root get cancelled out so again we have in numerator as x plus root under a square plus x square and numerator we will have x square minus a square minus x square x square get cancelled out so we will have here 1 upon minus 
a square times x plus root under a square plus x square now we will do the derivative of this expression so derivative of with respect to x 1 upon x minus root under a square plus x square is equal to minus 1 by a square times derivative of x plus root under a square plus x square dx okay so again we have minus 1 upon a square sorry a square times derivative of x plus derivative of a square plus x square dx so we will have here minus 1 by a square times 1 plus derivative of root under a square plus x square so again we will apply the power rule here that is uh, a square plus x square to the power of 1 by 2 so let's do the rough here we have to calculate derivative of root under a square plus x square dx so how are we are going to do this see we will have here derivative of a square plus x square to the power 1 by 2 by derivative of a square plus x square times derivative of a square plus x square by dx so derivative of uh, x to the power n is 1 by 2 times a square plus x square 1 by 2 minus 1 is minus 1 by 2 and derivative of a square plus x square is derivative of a square will be considered a constant so it will be uh, 0 plus x square derivative will be 2x okay and 2 and 2 will get cancelled out so we will have here x times a square plus x square to the power minus 1 by 2 so we will have here x times a square plus x square to the power minus 1 by 2 so this is your answer or you can proceed uh, write one more step that is up to you let me show you what is the final step we will write minus 1 by a square times 1 plus x upon root under a square plus x square because uh, root under a is a this is for example only so root under a is a to the power 1 by 2 similarly 1 upon root under a is a upon minus 1 by 2 so here it is minus 1 by 2 so we can write 1 upon a square plus x square and this is our final answer i hope this video was helpful to you guys do share this video with your friend and do subscribe the civil learning online youtube channel see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself